Hello, thanks for clicking. Welcome to another Nometry production. Today we're going to be talking about parallel lines and transversals. So what happens if you take two lines that are parallel and cut them with a transversal? Okay, the relationships that we learned in the last section, corresponding, all those relationships, alternate interior, alternate exterior, they all still hold, but now they have an even uh, more special relationship. All right, so let's talk about it. Okay, so the first thing we need to talk about is the corresponding angles postulate. All right, so first, let's set up our situation here. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, so I'm going to draw two lines that are parallel as best I can, and then I'm going to cut that with a transversal. There we go. Remember, that makes our eight angles here. Three, four. Okay, makes our eight angles. Then the corresponding angles are congruent. Their measures will be equal. Okay, so now, first thing I have to do is figure out which ones are corresponding. Now, remember, corresponding means they're on different lines, the line, different line intersections, but they're in the same location. So angle one will be congruent to angle five. They're both in the top left corner there. Angle two will be congruent to angle six, both in the top right. Angle three is congruent to angle seven. And then angle four is congruent to angle eight. All right. So now these corresponding angles are congruent. And that's because these two blue lines are parallel. Okay. We put the uh, little arrows there to mark that they're parallel. All right. Okay. Next, same idea. Here we go. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, so let's do it again. Here's two lines. They're going to be parallel. There they go. They're cut by a transversal. Then uh, let's mix up the numbers a little bit, okay? We don't need to keep the numbers the same. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. doesn't matter. All right, this is our picture. This is a different picture from the one we just drew. Okay, two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. I have the two blue lines that are parallel. They're cut by this red line, this transversal. Then the alternate interior angles are congruent. All right, so where are those alternate interior angles? Okay, so we're in between the two parallel lines, between the two lines. Okay, remember here, this is my interior, right? So the alternate interior angles are congruent. That means angle two and angle seven. Two is congruent to seven. And then angle one is congruent to angle six, one and six. They're both on alternate sides of the interior. And then if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the alternate exterior angles are also congruent. So remember three, four, five, and eight, they're in the exterior. Let's find those alternate exterior angles. Angle three oops, is congruent to angle eight. And then angle four is congruent to angle five. Okay, opposite sides of the transversal in the opposite corners from each other. All right, so now these are all congruent. Okay, so then we've got to talk about same side interior. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, there it is, two parallel lines cut by a transversal, then the same side interior angles are supplementary. Again, we'll change up the numbers a little bit. All right, let's go same side interior. Okay, so let's go inside here. We wanna be in between the two parallel lines. The same side interior angles are two and six and three and five. They're supplementary. Now remember, what does it mean for it to be supplementary? They add to equal 180 degrees, right? That's supplementary. So I know the measure of angle two 
plus the measure of angle 6 has to be 180 degrees. The measure of angle 3 and the measure of angle 5 also has to be 180 degrees between these two. All right? All right, that's what it means for them to be same side interior. So same side interior or supplementary, SSS, same side, supplementary, okay? Alternate interior angles, congruent. Alternate exterior, congruent. Corresponding, congruent. But that's only because the two lines that are going the same direction are parallel. All right, here we go. Let's do some problems. The measure of angle two is 37 degrees. I want to find the measures of angles three and six. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's my angles listed here. These two lines are parallel, okay? Angle two is 37. So I'm going to put a 37 degrees here. I want to find the measure of angle three and angle six. All right, so first of all, let's go for angle six, okay? Here's angle two here in the top right. Angle six is also in the top right. Okay, of its respective line. So these two angles, two and six, are corresponding. Since they're corresponding and these lines are parallel, then angle two has to be congruent to angle six. That makes angle six 37 degrees. It has to be the same. We'll just put that on the picture. Now, I also want the measure of angle 3. Well, angle 3 and 37, they're just across the X from each other, right? There's my X there. They're across the X. So angle 2 and angle 3, they're vertical, right? They're not any of those definitions that we just talked about. They're just vertical angles. They're across the X from each other. And what do we know about vertical angles? They're congruent. So that means the measure of angle three also has to be 37 degrees. Okay, so these two are the same because they're vertical, not because of corresponding or anything fancy like that. So those rules, they still apply. They don't go anywhere just because we're in the next chapter. All right, let's try another one. Same idea, the measure of angle six is 131. So I'm going to trade this out, put a 131 in its place. I want to find the measures of angles 3 and 4. Okay. All right. So these two are my parallel lines. Uh, if it helps, let's say we could do them in their respective colors that we've been using. Blue and red. Might help some of you. Okay. Now let's take a look. All right, so I need to get up here somewhere. So here's my interior, right? In between these two lines go in the same direction. This is the interior. So let's try for angle three first. So angle three and the 131, we got to know what kinds of angles they are. They are alter they're in the both in the interior and they're alternate from each other. So these are alternate angle three and angle six are alternate interior. And since these lines are parallel, angle three is congruent to angle six. So that means if angle six is 131, then so is angle three. Now, let's, uh, we'll go back to this angle again, 131. This 131 and the angle 4, they're both in the interior and they're on the same side. So angle 3 and angle 4 are same side interior. Same side interior are supplementary, SSS, same side supplementary. Okay, so we know angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 has to be 180. So if we know one of them is 131, we're going to do 180 minus 131. Make that a 10, borrow, make it a 7. 49 degrees. So the measure of angle 4 is 49 degrees. So you need to know the relationships between the angles, okay? Not just how to name them, 
But what is their relationship? Are they equal? Are they supplementary? What's the deal with each pair? All right. Finally, let's go find the var uh, value of some variables here. So we have two parallel lines, this one and this one, cut by this transversal. All right, so here's my two parallel lines going the same direction. So here's my interior. Okay, the 5y and the 2y plus 78, they're on opposite sides of the transversal. Okay, in alternate note locations, these two angles are alternate interior. Alternate interior angles, if the lines are parallel, are equal, congruent. So I know 5y has to equal 2y plus 78. And now I can solve for y. Move the 2y over. I have 3y equals 78. Divide them both by 3. y is 3 goes into 78 26 times. So y is 26. Okay, and the one over here, here are my two parallel lines. There's my transversal. Here's my interior. And now these two angles, they're on the same side of the transversal. So that makes them same side interior. So they're supplementary. Supplementary means they add to 180. So I know 3n minus 47 plus n plus 7 has to equal 180 degrees. They got to add up to be 180. All right, let's put the 3n and the n together. It gives me 4n. Combine the like terms. That's a negative 40. 180. Add the 40 on both sides. Let's do it. We got 4n equals 220. And divide both sides by 4. Hopefully I have enough room. That's 55. So n is 55. There's our answers. All right, so we could do it with algebra 2. But again, you also you have to know what type of relationship these two angles have to each other. How are they related? Okay. And then not only what are their names, but how are they related to each other if the lines are parallel? Are the angles congruent? Do they are they supplementary? What are they? All right? And that's it. As always, thanks for clicking.